do is I have to add in my five grams of the soil sample into the, uh, the filter paper, okay? So filter paper, my funnel, this is gonna allow the leachate to pass through it, but it won't let the soil pass through it. And then what I get in here, I'm going to test for calcium. So the first chemical I'm getting is my calcium chloride. The potassium ions in this are going to replace the calcium ions that are already on the soil sample, okay? And then I'll test the leachate for calcium to make sure that there was actually calcium present in my soil sample. So if calcium passes out, it means that it's after swapping with the potassium and that's why it's gone down through. You add the calcium chloride to it drop by drop. Okay, so I'm just going to add in some ammonium oxalate so we can see if a white precipitate forms. If it does, it means calcium is present. If it doesn't, it means that it is not present. Okay, so hopefully it will. Okay, can you see the white? That's telling me that there's calcium present in this sample. So now I have to discard this. So I have my ammonium oxalate again. And I just have to test the leachate. If I add in some of the ammonium oxalate. It's forming a white one, but it's not as distinct as the last time. It still has the white to tell me that calcium is present. So... I'll add even more in. So I'll test it again now and see do we have the white precipitate formed again? No, 